In any video game, it can be very simple to lose your sense of surrounding and sense of direction, especially if you have a lot of objectives all going on at the same time within a game. In VR, this can be especially easy for you to lose your sense of direction. And a very simple solution to help the player out in these scenarios is to use a very simple waypoint system that a player can see within the world around them. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up some very simple waypoints that the player can see and use to help guide them while they're playing in your video game. But before we go ahead and jump into this tutorial, if you like this video and you want to see more just like this, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below. It lets me know that you guys enjoy this video and you guys want to see more just like this one. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so first things first, let me go and walk you through this scene real quick. Uh, it's just a standard scene. The only thing I've done is I've removed all the blocks, the spectator that's over here. Uh, I basically removed all of this just because it seemed like unnecessary clutter. Um, and I want to also talk about how we're going to go about implementing this waypoint system. Now, quite often you'll see in a lot of flat screen games, what they'll do is they'll have a physical widget that's attached to the display and that you can actually just reposition around based off of where you're looking. The problem is, is that this doesn't really work in VR for a couple reasons. If you attach it to the, if you attach a widget to the display, it typically doesn't work very well. And even if you just raise it off of the display, you typically can do something like subtitles. Maybe you can have like a compass or something up ahead, but you can't really do much beyond that. A simple repositioning of the waypoint does not work particularly well. So the way we're actually gonna do this is we're going to create a material that we can then attach to a plane and then reposition that plane based off of wherever the player is. So in order for this to work, the first thing we're gonna need is we're going to need to, of course, make our material. Now I'm actually going to use a texture that I've actually used before. It's a very simple, just sphere, and I actually have it right here. So if we actually wanna open this up, this is what the texture I'm going to be using looks like. And this is what our icon for our waypoint is going to look like as well. So you can see it's just quite a simple circle and I do have some transparency uh, around the edge as well. So that way we can actually take that out and you can see how that is done as well. So next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is I'm actually gonna create a new folder and I'll go and call this materials and we'll go and create a new material. I'll just call this waypoint mat and I'll go and open this up. All right, so here we have our material all open and everything. So in order for this to work, we're going to need to do a couple of just real quick, simple things over here to our material. First thing is we're going to need to change our blend mode to translucent. And the second thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to disable depth testing. This is what will actually allow for us to see our material through other objects, which is something that we're definitely going to want to do. So that way we can actually see where our waypoint is. And last thing we're going to want to do is we're going to, going to get a little texture sample here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and find that circle real quick, which I just have here called circle outline. Let me also change this to a plane. So in case you've never played around with materials or anything, you can go in here and you can actually see what the material will look like uh, before you actually put it on any shapes or meshes or anything like that. And you can also set, you can also view it on a specialized mesh if you have one that you'd like to use. Um, I don't have one, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is drag our RGB over here to emissive color. And then we're gonna to wanna to take our RGBA, and this is going to go into our opacity, which is nice and simple. And you can see that we get this nice looking sphere here. And you can actually see if I rotate around, you can see that it does actually reposition around the scene. And we can actually make sure that this works too, because that's really everything that we need to do to this material. If we go ahead and create a simple, let me see here, shape, plane. Let's go and reposition this over here. Okay, and if I go and drag this material onto this plane, you can see it looks like a typical sphere. And if I actually go through this wall, you actually see it's still visible through the wall, which is really nice and really neat. There is one problem to this. The one problem that we have is that we, as you can see, as we reposition around the scene, it'll become invisible at certain positions. So a very simple way that we can go and fix this is simply rotate so that way it's always facing the player's camera. 
So we're going to go ahead and create a special actor that will do this for us. So let me go ahead and create a new folder. We're going to call this actor. Let me also go and delete this real quick before I forget that. And we'll create a new blueprint class of type actor. And I'll just go and call this waypoint um, actor. There we go. I'm gonna go and close the, that material and texture too because we don't really need that anymore. So now that we're here in our waypoint actor, we're going to need to do just a couple of quick things. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to grab a plane. Go ahead and add that in. I'm going to actually rename this to waypoint plane. Uh, you don't have to rename it, but I'm just going to rename it just, just to give it a little bit, uh, just to make sure it's easily identifiable. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right over here into our materials. I'm actually going to change this uh, to, uh, not widget, waypoint mat. And the last thing I'm going to do here in the viewport is I'm also going to rotate this forward just 90 degrees. Uh, and that's all that we need to do here in the viewport itself. The next thing we're going to want to do is jump right over here into our event graph. And I've actually gone ahead and removed the tick and all that. Um, however, I probably shouldn't have removed all of those. <laughs> because um, we are actually going to need our tick. The tick is the only thing that we're going to need in here. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and get our player pawn. And you can actually go either way depending on how your player is structured. So what I'm essentially going to do is I'm going to get the camera off of the player and I'm going to get the world location of that camera itself. That way I can make sure it's always targeting the camera and not the player. However, if your player is structured in a pretty good way where it doesn't really matter which you're put, which, uh, whether you're targeting the player or the camera, then you can actually just get the player pawn's location instead. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go right over here and just get component. Let's go and see here, it's in the top. Here we go, get component by class. And I'm going to want to get the camera component. Because uh, supposedly every player pawn should have a camera component, so this will work pretty well with any player pawn. And then I'm going to want to get world location. There we go. Uh, and then the last component that we're going to need here is get actor location. And of course our actor that we're referring to is the waypoint actor here. And then we're going to want to do find a look at rotation. This will just get the rotation that we need to set in order for this to be facing the player, uh, which is nice and simple. And we'll just do find, uh, not find, uh, set actor rotation. Now I do want to note here real quick, you do want to make sure uh, that you do have the actor location world location set correctly in the find look at rotation. If you have them reverse the other way around, it'll actually face away from the player. Um, and that, and if it is facing away from the player in this scenario, it could also be just the way you've rotated the, uh, the plane itself. Um, I did have to rotate it forward so that way it will actually face the player. Um, and that'll just kind of simplify things here. Um, so you do kind of need to think around with that if this doesn't work out perfectly for you the first time. All right, so jumping back over here into our scene, I'm going to go and close that waypoint actor. That was the wrong button. Um, and I'm going to go and drop two in here. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop one right here. And I'm also going to raise it up a little bit. You can actually see too that it's not visible from where the player will spawn. It's only visible on the other side. You can also see it's visible through that wall. Um, but I'm going to put one on the other side of this wall just to make sure that we that the player is actually able to see it through the wall. So you can actually see that's on the other side of the wall there. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up and we'll go ahead and give this a look in VR and see how this all looks. All right, so here I am. Um, so you can actually see that we have both the waypoints here. Uh, that always throws me off. These are so off for the, for the index controllers. <laughs> But you can actually see that we have both of our waypoints here. Uh, now it's of course not perfectly clear that they are uh, not in the, that, that this one's behind the wall and this one isn't. The only thing you can slightly see is that this one is slightly smaller. You can actually see too, if I look at it through, uh, that you can actually see it through my controller as well, which is pretty neat. Um, so yeah, so that's it all visible and I can actually move around as well. So let me go ahead and reposition here. Oh, oh, 
I forget that they changed this. Uh, there we go. So if I actually go and reposition here, you can actually still see it's still facing me. This one's still facing me and I can actually move up and down. So if I actually move all the way down here, it's still facing me. If I move all the way up, it's still facing me. And yeah, so it all moves around with me. Uh, so there's no issues whatsoever there. Uh, it all works. And with that, that is the whole waypoint system added into a VR game. And this isn't even just limited to VR. This can be used in a standard flat screen game as well. So that is definitely really neat. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to help support VR Playground, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. And with that, I will see you in the next reality. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, Boomboxhead, 9X, and Shea.